business about kids, and Nicholas told me he's not granting me my four children. He just walked back in the kitchen. I ask him why I can't have four kids. Why can't I have four kids? There's too much kids. Why? There's too much to keep track of. How do you keep track of them kids? Four children. That's a lot. Four children. Four kids is a lot. How? You already have our neighbors with two kids. So you might have four kids. No. He has only child syndrome. How four, how four kids can fit in the car? What do you mean how four kids can fit in the car? That's, that's why you have... Nicholas, that's why you have... What do you call the, the minivan? <laughs> no. Nicholas, that's why you have a minivan. I can't even remember names of people. Well, you want me to get four kids? That's a lot to remember. If you can't remember names of four children? That's too much. John, Jill, James, and Joe. That's that hard. <laughs> really hard. Four children. I don't. I think that's reasonable. I think that's reasonable. My Grammy had nine. My mother had three. Yeah, mommy had one. Just yeah. you. One is great. You know what we're saying? They got it one. One is boring. Oh, okay. But let's let's. Put one it like is this. boring. Let's put it like this. What? Let's, let's count the amount of things I had as a single child and you had as as with your siblings. Really? We doing that? Yeah. My first car. I had my first car at sixteen. When you had your first car. My second car, I had an 18. Okay. When you had your first car? I was about that age. You wasn't about that age. <laughs> I was in college. Ah. I was about 18. I was in grade 11 when my first car, you know? I was I in school. high school doing what high school people are supposed to do in grade no. 11, which is learn my lesson. If That's I what I was had, doing. If I had siblings, you think my mom would have been able to buy me another car? Why would she buy you another car? No, would, would you think she'd be able to buy us cars? Yeah. If my mom had a, another kid. Yes. Ah, no. Why not? That's a lot of money. And my car, my first car was like five, six grand. So if you have a sibling or a twin, brother, either we're going to either have to share that car or, and that's not going to work. Because like if I want to go see this person and do my thing, he wants to do that, too. I'm not going to share a car. I have my own car. I have my own computer. I have my own room. And everything that's the selfishness, I was, I was spoiled. the self exactly the spoiled so selfishness I of it all. One kid is spoiled in the same way. I want kids. more than one child. Then I would want to share that car between all of them. What do you mean, share the car? That's why you have a seven seater, an eight seater, and a nine seater. Listen, how he's not understanding me. What do you mean, how you pay for college? I, I want you, I want you to look at these people in their face and tell them. I went to private school. I didn't pay for private school for all those kids. You get scholarship. We will be able to afford it. Why not? <laughs> I went to private school. So what? The spoiled, entitled yep. you? Yep. You with me, you know. Because I was spoiled. You with That's me. not why I'm with you. Yeah. That's not why I'm with you. Yeah, I'm just saying, you never know. Where is your food? I can't get it right now. It's pick, picking it up. If we had kids, you couldn't... You couldn't. All Uber Eats is 30 bucks and you get McDonald's. It's 30 bucks. Yes. Now imagine 30 bucks plus four kids. What's wrong with that? You know how much our Uber Eats meal would be? Then we wouldn't Uber Eat, huh? We would eat in like we supposed to. Yeah, but I can't splunge on some McDonald's every now and then. That's the problem with having kids. Every now and again, they want to get some McDonald's. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, well, I can't get McDonald's today because the food is 200 bucks because I have four extra kids. <laughs> I can't go and sneak a big Mac. From McDonald's or something like that. Because oh I gotta get, gosh. okay, John, Joe, Jacob, Hyman Smith, what y'all want? <laughs> I want a big money. Okay, that's, that's, that's already over the Uber Eats budget. Can I get it? But me and you, is 30 bucks. Easy. So 30 bucks for two people. Let's add four more people to that. I don't want to do math right now. It's about 100 bucks. Okay. And then it would be a treat. And it would be once a month. And then you just don't have, you can't, you just can't get McDonald's all the time. That's the sacrifice you make for your children. Yeah, but if I had one, I could be like, hey, all right, so me and Alex is 30 bucks. What you want? <laughs> all right, I'll get a big Mac, daddy. Okay, so okay. One right. child. So 
It, it, it comes to 40 bucks. Then. All right, I feel good with that. I can, you know, one kid. All right, we can do that every now and then. Think about going to the movies. What's wrong with that? Me and you to the movies, we spend about 70 bucks. That's but me and you to the movies. We actually spend more than that. Popcorn, food, the movie tickets. Imagine going to the movies, me and you and four kids. Oh, we definitely watching YouTube. I don't see the problem. I don't think we need to go to the movies anymore. I'm just saying, if, if the time comes, imagine vacations. You know how long you got to save up for vacations with four kids plus you and your wife? Yes. That's going to be a long time saving up for vacations. When we usually took vacations, we'd just be in the spur of the moment and be like, hey, let's just go to Vegas. Boom, next month we're in Vegas. Now, if you plan to go to Disney, Imagine going to Disney! Yes, we will go to Disney with our four children. How? Disney is a hundred bucks per ticket. We will that's go to just Disney to get with our inside. four children. <clears throat> that's not plane ticket, that's not hotel. A hundred dollars per person. And that's adults and kids. Kids, you know, there's a hundred and two bucks now. I don't think you should be looking so, at this as a money thing. And that's only one day. So imagine, wow! As an only child, I would wow. think that you would want. Imagine more going to children. Disney. Imagine going to Disney. That'd be nuts. And we all four, all six of us, a family of six, we will go to Disney. How? What do you mean how? You know how much money that is? We just won't. We will stay on the park. That's more money. That's what I'm saying. That's a lot of money. That's a ton of money. You can't even go to Disney. That guy definitely has one kid now. You know I love no, Disney. No, 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 no. <laughs> We will, we, I can't do one kid, I'm sorry. I, I need I, more than one child. I have to go to Disney. We need to figure this out. I need more than one kid. I have to go to Disney, so how are you going to do that? Then you will take them two at a time. How about that? No, I go with that. Come on. Two at a time, and they go to Disney with Daddy in the spring, <laughs> and the other two go in the Christmas, yeah. and you swap. Yeah. If you don't want to do everybody all four one time. No, you I am having more than one child. Mm. Okay. I want more than one kid. Right. If my body chooses to release five eggs on that good and faithful night, I don't know what you can do. <laughs> send them back. <laughs> you can't send, send them back to God. Yeah, go back. I can send them back to God. When one baby popped out, I'm grabbing my single baby and I'm leaving home. <laughs> and you're leaving with me? Yeah. I don't know what you plan to do with the rest of those kids. When, wow. they, say, when they say Mr. Harris, uh, you have four more babies popping out yet. <laughs> you all deal with that. Let me grab me and my one child and get home. <laughs> you're going to abandon me and your other children? Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's too much kids. So whoever comes out first, so they better race. I can't wait. For when they say Mrs. Harris is your but sonogram, I see three heartbeats. No, there's four heartbeats. You better drink. You, you better drink bleach like you're drunk. Get rid of that. This is so stupid. It's so stupid. Anyway, guys, before he comes back and tries to take my children from me, I wanted to show you this container. Oh gosh. It's, I just washed it, but um, it's for eggs. I'm trying to do my best to control what packages go into the fridge. So you already know we have a system where when everything comes in here, it stays at the front door and then it gets wiped down and put in another section. But with the egg cartons, they are, we get organic eggs. And let me show you. They are in these like paper containers. So it's hard for me to clean them. So I ordered this egg container to keep the eggs in and there's a little section where you can write the date um, when you're supposed to consume them but I can wash this and sanitize it myself so once the eggs come in the house now I can take them out of the paper packaging and stick them in here I'll post a link to this in the description box so you guys can check it out if you're looking for a container for your eggs um, just to be safe and to have another form of packaging that you can control because I think that's important to in terms of disinfecting your home and the spaces that you live if you have control over the containers that come into your house or whatever comes foreign things come into your house I think that's really good so yeah that's what I did today besides arguing with him about kids that's what we've been doing good morning y'all it is 
Saturday morning and I just got done with laundry. I'm so tired, you probably can see my sweaty face. Um, but just got done doing laundry and I just received our weekly bread order from a local bakery here um, that I love to support because they're small but their stuff is really really good and um, I think this is a super important time to be supporting local <laughs> it's my dishwasher local small businesses so I really like getting our breads from them because everything is made fresh the day of when we get them so I don't mind supporting them um, it's, oh, I, of course it's more a little bit pricey but I don't mind that because I like to support them everything comes packaged so cute and um, I already sanitized the bag handle so I'm just gonna take everything out and sanitize the packaging So this is everything. I loved their fresh break bread. I probably couldn't say that anymore. These are their hot dog buns that they make fresh every day. Um, these are going to be gone by the end of the week. Don't even worry. So that's why I got two packs. Um, and then I got some hamburger buns because I got um, some more veggie burgers and I really wanted to try their buns. But these are the star of the show these are their little scones and i believe i got um strawberry passion fruit blueberry lemon and i think blueberry and white chocolate i can't remember but um yeah these are always so super duper good and i am super grateful that they make these but i have these for breakfast usually with fruit and some tea and sometimes like a vegan sausage or uh, egg white so that's those are my breakfast and they always send over like the cutest little sample and then I got some wheat bread and uh, that's it for the bread haul. <laughs>